your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! Hello right bags, it's Jade. Welcome to an ARC video today. Like I said to you guys, I'm covering stuff that I'm interested in with ARC. If it doesn't interest me, I'm not going to be covering it on like a daily or even a weekly. But they vote for their new creatures that are going to be coming to their new Lost Island. A free DLC map that's going to be added, I'm guessing around winter time. Well, it has actually been confirmed now. It won its poll, its vote, and yes, the ape won. I've got to say, you lot need to take a chill pill. Even when you take a look at my comments and some of the dislikes and arguing and just shit posting, all because someone likes a particular dinosaur over another. Like, goddamn, who gives a monkeys? Like, honestly, I don't really care which one won. I think there were some cool ideas there. I also think there were some really rubbish ones. It does seem as well that Ark have kind of screwed the monkey or screwed the Carnutius a little bit. That one, the one that came second. In that they didn't give a lot of these creatures the proper kind of presentation you'd expect. I know a lot of this was community presented, but they've taken it down now. But out of the top 10, a lot of the dossiers weren't actually matching up with the abilities that were suggested. Maybe it was like an overall thing. Obviously, if 200 people suggested the baboon, then maybe they just looked at all the abilities they suggested and decided to go with that. But it does look like a lot of the things weren't just really presented in an equal manner. Lots of the creatures didn't actually have their own actual dossier. They were just presented with a bunch of lists. So yeah, it was sloppy work from Wildcard. But last time we did see, it was very close between the Dinopithecus and the Carcachodonotorososos. In fact, the Dinopithecus was winning. Then as soon as I made the video, the Carcachodontosaurus started to win. And it looked like it was going to win all week long. But a big push by some really, really over-the-top campaigning just to have a bloody monkey added to the game. Managed to sway it, and I do believe it won by like 1%. So it's done now, who knows, maybe they'll add the second dinosaur that came runner-up. They have said they're going to add three dinosaurs. We already know that we're getting this bad boy added to it as well. So there may be hope yet for people that really wanted this uh, other one. But yeah, take a chill. Talk to people with respect. Learn how to take someone else's viewpoint and constructively give yours, people. Honestly, some of the comments I've seen, like I haven't even wanted to get involved because there's just some right dickheads. So, he's here, and is he going to have a gun to hold? No, of course he's not. Again, you lot are, like, twisted. You're just, like, tripping if you think wild cards are going to wholesale just a bunch, a bunch of abilities on this guy. They've done this in the past where they have kind of tailored a creature more realistically to balance in with the rest of the game. So, no, you will not be able to use this guy to hold a gun. He will be able to throw his own poo. That pretty much stops tech from working. So let's get into it. This is now the official dossier. They've revamped it. They've done it. I feel like this is what they should have done for a bunch of them. I know it would have been time consuming and maybe it was too soon. Or at least added some of the key abilities that they thought the creature could have. But yes, you will be able to tame this guy. In fact, they're going to be stronger in a pack. If you kill the main leader, the pack are pretty much going to be just a bunch of tiny little chimpanzees. It'll be much easier to kill and take on. They'll eat fruit, they'll also eat some meat. In fact, they'll eat pretty much anything. The opportunists, they'll also be able to climb up cliffs and jump from tree to tree. So again, pretty much borrowing heavily from some of the abilities the other creatures have, like the Phylaco. And yep, when it's provoked, it's gonna throw its own excrement. This will have a parasite in it that destroys or disables tech. So that's pretty good. I feel that could be a good counter. This is pretty interesting. You'll soon find yourself with a small troop at your disposal. Your mini troop will organize around the strongest of your tames. Their new alpha that can then direct them at the target with a shrieked battle cry. So maybe while you're riding the alpha, you'll be able to use directional. I mean, you can do that with all the dinosaurs anyway, actually. So maybe it'll just be a bit quicker or it'll be obviously a bit more ferocious when he's directing an attack. No need to saddle your tamed Dinopithecai to ride it. It will be one of your using its own tail. Just hold on tight and it will take you straight up walls and across zip lines. And again, the zip lines thing, we've already got the other monkey that go across the zip lines. I think people forget that because we don't actually have that many zip lines in the game. I think apart from like Aberration and maybe a little bit on Valguero. I mean, I know not the zip lines that you can actually f put yourself, but the actual game ones that are in the game, like vines and stuff. In battle, your Dinopithecus will fling fecal projectiles, grenades, or combination that I like to call EBM for explosive bowel movement. Yummy. 
And anyway, it's all done now. The controversy's over. I'm pretty sure War Arc wanted a bit of drama and a bit of spiciness around it, hoping maybe to get bait led on Kotaku, generate some buzz or just some sort of news clicks. They honestly love a bit of drama. Alongside the Amagosaurus, it will be coming to the Lost Island map. No news yet about when it's actually coming. As I said, I think with Arc 2, I'm predicting to come towards the end of 2022. They'll be doing this a bit later, and I still think it's probably a bit too soon after the DLC. Maybe at a push, it could be something close to September. I could be wrong, but it's just a bit close too soon after Genesis. But I do, I think we won't see this maybe till October or November. And there we go, people. It's just a vote. I'm sure they'll add more creatures in the future. It sucks if there is a creature that you really thought could be cool, for sure. But getting all bent out of shape and having arguments with randoms on the internet, it's not the one. Or just bowing down to what other YouTubers think. Blurp. And wildcards, if you do this kind of thing again, come on now. Fix up your presentation skills next time. That's it. I'll be back, hopefully, one day to maybe take a showcase look at this. The Lost Island is about the only thing that's interesting me in Ark at the moment. I like the idea that it's a more traditional map, so hopefully I'll be diving back into it once it's actually here. For all your survival games news, go and check out my channel, check out the rest of the content I'm doing, and I'll see you right bags later.